What is a file system? A file system is how the operating system stores and retrieves data. When you store a file, you're going to give it a name, and that's how me and you are going to reference it, but the file system sees it differently. It sees it as what's called an inode. Well, what the heck is an inode? I'm going to tell you. This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm going to tell you all about inodes, so stick with me. I've got a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional offers in the comment section below. Oh. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to catch everything I'm going to be giving you about inodes. Let's do this thing. All right, we're going to shrink my face here so we can get onto the desktop. Now, what is an inode? An inode is how the file system refers to a file, and it also contains metadata about said file. Now, what metadata does it include? And I actually made a list here. I'm gonna do that just to make just to give you a visual of the metadata that it includes. Um, it's going to include the file type, permissions, owner ID, group ID, size of the file, time last access, time last modified, soft and hard links, and access control list. So it's all of that stuff is included in the metadata uh, associated with the inode. Uh, inodes are only recognized on a single file system, so you may run into instances where two files on different file systems have the same inode number. Uh, you will also see the same inode number used when, uh, when a hard link is used. Uh, I will not be covering links in this video, but that is a topic I do plan on covering in a future video, so make sure you are subscribed uh, for that uh, future content. Now, and there's a few different commands that we can use to obtain information about inodes. So let's go ahead and clear this out. Now, when we're looking at the bigger picture of inodes, we're going to use df tac hi. You know, this is going to this is going to allow us to view file system information. It's going to put it in a human readable format. It's also going to give us information about inodes, which are what those two um, options are. And then, okay, cool. Here we go. So when we pull this information up, it's going to give us the total number of inodes, which is this one right here. It's going to give us the inodes used right here. It's going to give us the free inodes right here, and it's going to go ahead and give us a percentage uh, used. So this will tell you on a per file system basis, and these are all the different file systems that are currently on the virtual machine that I am using. Now, let's go to the next command. This next command is a command that you're probably already really familiar with if you've watched any of my videos. It's going to be the ls command. We're going to use tac li for a long listing as well as listing the inode information. And let's go ahead and hit enter. And here we go. So we've got our long listing of files and directories inside of my home directory. Now, you'll notice here that there's a file down here at the bottom called toast. Now, this is actually a hard link up to file. And you can see they both have the same inode number because essentially what this is what what a hard link is is it's basically making it's basically a copy of file but it's given a different name uh it's it's it, uh, there's there may there's other things that are coming to play but that's not something i'm going to be covering in this video so just make sure you're subscribed for when i actually do cover that information all right and then let's go ahead and clear this out and the last one is going to be the stat command the stat command gives us a whoops stat and then we're gonna do inodes and then it's going to give us a bunch of different information. And we can see right here is where we have the inode number. It gives us a lot of information, especially in regards to uh, that metadata that we talked about uh, just a minute ago. Awesome. Well, that is an intro into inodes. Check out this other video from my channel if you're interested. Remember, mistakes make you better, so keep making them. Thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.